So new with Solid Edge 2023 is the Solid Edge Inspector. Um, this is an add-on and has two versions. One's the standard, which is the 2D environment, which you see here, or advanced, which works with 3D and 2D. So um, if you're working with um, any of your sort of um, technical publications type things, that's quite useful. Um, so the concept is that it's geared towards um, providing quality assurance um, documentation and rather than having to manually extract key dimensions from a drawing, it will do it automatically, um, labelling each as it goes. So um, it can be kicked off from um, up here in the home tab on the right hand side and you'll see that there's um, a sort of pull out area that uh, it runs from and to start with you'll see that um, the first thing that you need to do is if you have any dimensions that are tolerance themselves um, they will hold those when it um, extracts the information otherwise it will work through a tolerance table list so this is broken down into linear angular um, Four tolerances and chamfers. Um, these are configurable, as are most of the components of the Solid Edge Inspector. And you can see that there's been a, a number of different ones set up, some based on ISO, but we're going to work with decimal places. Um, you also see that it has the ability to look at um, tolerancing, um, class tolerancing as well. And um, once you set this up, this is then sort of saved as the default, and um, obviously you can change that as you go. So you, the first thing you need to do is just set that up to specify what tolerancing you want to have on your dimensions. So from here, um, the next step is to go into the ballooning. There are two options. You can either use a um, manual option. Um, CN stands for characteristic number, and um, you can do a um, automatic one as well. So the automatic one is geared towards picking up things like um, dimensions, um, feature control. So it'll pick up, you know, whether you've got a straightness, perpendicularity, um, that sort of thing, and um, it will also pick up things such as um parts list tables and so on so um from there all you need to do is click on the auto balloon and it, as you can see it goes round and um adds a balloon to each thing that it adds to the list so if we zoom in you'll see that we have um very specific numbering um each balloon is free to be moved but as you can see it's sort of locked to the dimension text so that it's um, obviously got to stay within its bounds um, otherwise it loses its relevance so um, as I said from here um, we can show the um, table that it creates so this is um, basically a spreadsheet and um, in here you'll see the um, characteristic number, so down the left hand column. Um, these values are um, just generic. Um, they've been set up in the configuration file and specifies what type of thing. So under dimension, you'll have just a linear dimension, radial dimension. Um, there could be angular ones in here. Um, and you'll see that we've also picked up on that straightness, that, um, geometric um, tolerancing. Um, so you'll also notice that we have yellow um, boxes listed here. And these are the ones that are um, uh, working off this general tolerancing. If you have specific ones, so if you have an upper and lower tolerance on a dimension, um, this will go stay white and it will show what the upper and lower allowance is and what those figures represent in here. So there are 
a number of other um, columns in here. You'll notice that there are um, there is a column to show whether the um, dimension has changed. And um, as we've just instigated this, um, everything will be set to new. There is also a um, option in here which shows you um, effectively a grid position on the screen. So um, on a number of drawing sheets, you may have sort of letters across the top, um, dividing it into sections and numbers down the left. Um, again, this is configurable um, depending on what your template works with. And um, this just sort of represents a position. Um, you've also got um, an X and Y coordinate in here as well. Um, you will also see that um, as um, so for the first one, as we hover over it, you'll see it highlights red as you select it. Um, and that sort of gives you the um, quick indication of, of where on the drawing it is. And hopefully you can sort of see um, that highlighting to give the impression. Um, we've also got the um, extra text that is um, coming in here. So you can see the um, fields are being extracted. That's um, prefix, suffix. Um, Superfix and suffix, um, suffix um, will get pulled into these fields here. Um, we have a number of options in here, so we can. Um, there are a number of columns that are hidden, um, and you may decide that you want to see those. And you can see here that um, there's, there's a lot more that isn't being shown, so you can choose what um, you actually want to see and um, what you want to hide. Um, there is also an option in here, so um, number 18, which is this one here. Um, we may decide that that's a critical dimension. So um, if we select this, we can then change that to critical. These values are um, uh, configurable, and um, you can add your own specific requirements in here. Um, there may be others in here. So the width here, number seven, we can sort of then select that and change that to critical as well. Um, or alternatively, you may want to select a couple um, just using the control key. Then we can set those both as being critical. And um, from here, we need to do a commit, and you'll notice that the um, balloon color changes to reflect that they are different from the um, minor dimension tolerances on here. So um, the other thing that is worth mentioning is that you can filter. So we can turn on the filtering and come into this column here. We can choose that we want to hide all minor ones. And that redefines the list to show only those options in there. So we can turn that on or off. And we can toggle on or off that display as well. Um, also up here, we've got the ability to um, show or hide the um, characteristic notes for character characteristic number balloons. So they can be turned on or off to help with visibility. So um, another thing that I um, didn't really explain as well is that um, as I said, one of the columns that um, is shown is the sheet that it is uh, labelled on, plus also the um, drawing view. And you'll notice that um, there is a sort of jump in numbers as it switches from one view to the next. So if we go back to our um, CN list, you'll notice that it will jump um, at one point from 20 up to 30. That's as it moves on to another view. There's only one dimension on that view, so it then jumps another 10 onto um, the uh, 
view over here. So that, that allows you to um, add in extra um, dimensions as you edit, um, trying to keep the um, numbering um, sequential for each drawing view. Um, it also um, has the ability to um, uh, be configured so that you can specify how much of a gap you have between each one um, and um, gives you the ability to not have any um, gaps at all as well. Um, there is another option under here, um, Manage FLLs. FLL stands for um, Feature Location Label, so basically the um, balloons. And um, if you've got sort of like a grid of holes and you want to label um, more than one, um, you can go into a, um, a dimension, click on the uh, feature location label, and you can then sort of add in sub items on that um, on that label. So then, once once you've done that, you can then go in and specify um, other locations to place balloons to um, actual label label those other items. So um, if we hide that again uh, under um, this other tab, we've got the option of doing a uh, report or export. So I'll mention the export first. Um, if you're using um, revision control, once you've released the document, it becomes uh, right protected. And um, the good old developers of Solid Edge have de um, deemed that it's important that um, even if a drawing is um, blocked, you can still create all your um, uh, characteristic numbers and um, in the uh, labeling over here as well. Um, under the reports, we can export that, um, but we can also save it as a CSV, but most importantly, a, a project file. So basically, what this means is that you can then lock in um, these numbering. Um, balloons so they are consistent between different um, revisions and um, that then allows you to save that project file um, externally. You could use that to upload to somewhere else if you wanted to. But uh, more importantly, when you come into the next revision, it won't have all this ballooning in here. Things may get changed around, but it does allow you over here to um, open up a um, project file that has been saved and that maintains the numbering system for you. Um, also under the inspection there's the ability to um, delete individual balloons and there are options in here on whether you actually want to permanently delete it or just um, delete it and leave that number um, unassigned. So if you've removed a dimension, it can still um, have that balloon reference saved so that it's not overwritten by something else so that it avoids confusion. So um, also here we have the option of doing a report and um, there are sort of um, a number of different reports that are delivered um, directly. Um, these are in the Excel option, so we'll just call this um, base and hit OK. And up comes the default output report. So you can see that it's, it's created an image. Um, you've got all the balloon numbering on there um, to reference to and you extract various pieces of information to sort of specify whether it's critical or minor. Um, it's got that drawing change text, so you can see what's changed between revisions. As you can see from the grey borders, I've been in and updated the part. So if we zoom in down here, I've just changed the um, height of this. So we'll go update views. Yeah, that's all the correct changes. You can see this one has been adjusted. 
So um, we've also added in a hole in here, so I would really want to go back in and add a dimension on here, and maybe another one on here. And we'll just do the copy attributes to make this one be the horizontal text. Um, as you can see, it's not got any ballooning on here. So we just need to go back into here and um, do the update and scan all, and that then goes through and adds in the um, two extra dimensions. So then if we bring up our um, sheet again, we can go and filter and in here, we choose out in here. Uh, let's turn off no modifications. And then you can quickly see which ones have been um, added and um, modified. So that sort of gives a good reflection of how you can sort of keep track of changes. Um, again, this can go out as a report. You can save it as a project file. And um, that sort of then gives you a sort of good level of um, change control as well. So one final um, thing on, on this topic. Um, I have changed the configuration file that will only pick up on dimensions that have um, at least one decimal place. And um, as you can see, I've deleted all the um, ballooning um, based on this option here. And we can go and create our update list. And that goes through and creates a new one, as you can see. This one isn't ballooned, whereas the ones with um, multiple um, decimal places um, have been ballooned. So um, just to show that you can actually um, configure it to work with different situations depending on what your requirements are. And as I said, you can customize your reports and outputs so that uh, it works with something more akin to what it is you want to um, achieve. So hopefully this gives you a good indication of um, what Solid Edge Inspector is. And um, yeah, just get in touch if you need more information. And make sure you subscribe to my channel.